and welcome to our channel. My name is Tracy. Panda is sitting on the floor. He just annihilated my ring light and totally detached the, um, with plug meat so that it's just like a ripped kind of cord, unfixable. But he's so cute, I forgive him. Um, Trent the Troll is here visiting and it is um, a very bright time of day, so I am all shadows, even with my second ring light um, kind of on me, I'm still not not getting a great uh, quality here. Um, but wherever I go in the house this time of day is gonna pretty much be like that or anywhere that I could go to film. So we're just gonna make it work, um, and I'm gonna open up my BoxyCharm base box for the month of June. And um, at the end of this video, I'm going to do a product review of the Lux and the Base Box together. I did get my Lux Box earlier, and that should be uploaded by the time you see this. So here is your little sneak peek. Not much to see. The theme is Express Yourself. And right on top is the Shadow Moon Reusable Shield for fast and flawless eye makeup application. Okay, so I guess you would hold this up while you're putting your eye makeup on. Which is eyeshadow fallout, helps to achieve the perfect eyeshadow and winged eyeliner application and cool in the fridge or freezer to depuff and soothe your under eye area. Oh, okay, I like that. Hold it under your eye while applying eye makeup and then clean with soap and water between use. Okay. And this is a new brand to BoxyCharm and the MSRP is $15. All right, well, I was hoping to get the Tresluce eyeshadow palette. I didn't. I had it in my cart and then I was having a hard time with the site and then it sold out like before I could even check out so oh well maybe another time okay so what I got instead was the Lorac Pro Palette Artist Edition Meraki this is a $45 value it says that Lorac was founded in 1995 the brand has approached makeup artistry with the concept of Meraki in mind doing things with soul creativity love and devotion first ever artist edition palette was curated with selection of 25 of Lorac's most loved shades by artists around the world. 25 shades from neutral browns to glistening golds and soft mauves that blend effortlessly onto the eyelid, onto the lid and last without creasing. It sounds like it's a neutral palette. Now, trust me, same one, it's not neutrals. I'm downing it before I've even opened it. So there it is. And um, I mean, it's it's very pretty, but I'm not gonna swatch it. I will, when I do my try on, maybe I will, maybe I'll leave it intact to either gift it or give it away. Just because I have so many neutral palettes at this point, I don't, I mean, how many browns and golds do I need? I just, um, yeah, I don't know. All right, well, that was disappointing. I feel like the choices were kind of boring. If I can find, if I screenshotted what the choices were, because everybody gets the same choices, so I don't always screenshot what they were. But they were kind of boring, like you didn't get to choose your palette, which I think would be a little bit better, because you may be like me and be like, I just don't really, need another one of those. All right, next is the Patrick Ta Major Volume Mascara. Now, I do get a lot of mascaras. I don't know that I'm necessarily going to review the mascara, only because you can only have so many open at once. That is valued at $29, and it's got a double cut brush that combs through and loads your lashes for ultimate volume lift and definition. Next, Dominique Cosmetics is a cream blush in the shade Warm Peach, and this is valued at 
It contains hyaluronic acid, which I think is nice. So here is the here is the packaging. And it is a cream blush, which I do like cream blushes, and I do like a peach. Now you're not gonna see that because the shadows are so terrible. When I do try them later, I'll definitely use this. Next by Sandbar. Oh, this is um $32, I don't know if I told you that. Next by Sandbar is a Shadow Effect Eyeshadow Primer. All right, so there it is. It looks like it's kind of a white. Yeah, it is, it's definitely a white. Well, that'll set a nice base. It does like buff out though um, to no color. A sheer and creamy intensifying eyeshadow base that adds staying powder and full pigment richness to your eyeshadow, resulting in high definition, crease defying color and long lasting wear. And um, Sandbar is a new brand to boxy. And then last is the Glow Recipe Plum Plump Hyaluronic Serum. And I do love Glow Recipe. I do have one of these open that I'm actually using. Um, it has five weights of hyaluronic acid and is valued at $42. So that is my premium boxy charm. Um, let me know your thoughts and um, let me know if you have used this and is it worth using or is it going to be so similar to my other neutrals um, that probably better to pass it along to somebody else who maybe doesn't have like four neutral palettes. Um, I mean, they're certainly lovely colors, but I'm just not sure if I need another neutral palette. Okay, so I am back to do some try on of some of the products from my BoxyCharm boxes. Um, to be honest with you, I don't even know where half the stuff from my Lux box is at this point. I meant to put it all together and then I think I took some of it home. So, um, yeah, I got some stuff. We're going to put it on. Um, I do have this stuff from my premium box, including the um, Lorac Pro Palette Artist Edition. And I wasn't going to keep this. I was actually going to set this aside for someone. But then when I was taking pictures of it, I noticed that there were like two little like prints in there. Now, I know I didn't swatch it, but I'm wondering if when I moved this if my hands accidentally got in it I really couldn't say so one neat thing about this though it came with a little key you can um, pop these each of these pans out and put them in a different like arrangement if you wanted to now I don't know how you know what color was what because there is a color story on here but it's not like I don't think it's a sticker or anything like that, so I don't know. But anyway, we're going to use that. Um, I am going to use this cream contour stick from my Hank and Henry box. So, which if you saw that opening, it was, uh, I did use it um, in that video. And it goes on a little bit dark, as you can see, but it did blend in very nice. So, ooh, got a little bit more than I wanted to. So that looks a mess. I am just going to take my flat foundation brush because that's going to blend it in much more seamlessly than the other brushes. I did get a brush for the Pink and Henry that I would use with this. Oh, wait, is this it? Oh, this is it. What is that?
So that goes to show you, don't be afraid if you get something that looks like it's a little dark for you because blend it in. And it is perfect. And that even goes with foundations. I mean, some of them you can't lighten up, but sometimes if you get one that's a little bit dark, what I find is because my skin tone does get a little bit darker in the summer, if I mix it with something a little bit light, that tends to work out good for me. All right, so I've got the contouring done. You almost can't see it. Blended in so well. I did get this cream blush from Dominique Cosmetics and it's in this nice peachy shade. I did not get any highlighter, so I am gonna go ahead and use my Natasha Denona highlighter. And I'm gonna use this kind of more bronzy looking one. So let me know in the comments down below, do you prefer this format where maybe I open my box early but I save the footage until I can get around to trying out the makeup? Obviously maybe being a little more on top of where I put it, but um, I know in a couple of my others I did, I did do that. Um, if you prefer that or if you would prefer me to just open it, show you nice and early and then, um, you know, get that footage up nice and early. And then when I have a chance to do a review of the products, do that as a separate video. Because it does tend to make it a long video. So, you know, I'm not sure what the preference would be for you guys. So let me know. Okay, I did get this um, eyeshadow primer. Then we got this thingy here to kind of like, I guess you're supposed to put this like this. That's gonna be a lot of work to hold it. Okay, but we're gonna, we're gonna give it a try. All right, so I'm gonna start with an all over color and I'm gonna go in with this very light color right here. And I'm just doing that. I don't always do this, but with a neutral look, I find that this is going to have some maybe lighter colors. So it's just kind of putting on a base color so that things maybe pop out a little bit more. So next I'm gonna do out here. So I am gonna take this, I'm gonna start with this kind of brown here and then work into that one there. Here goes nothing, so. All right, that's definitely gonna help you if you wanna achieve kind of a bold look. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with that cocoa just to give it a little bit. All right, so, oh, I like that, I like that a lot. Now I'm gonna come in and get this inner corner and I'm gonna go with this kind of nice light one right there. And that might require Then I'm going to go in with this purpley one right there. I know my nails are atrocious. Okay. 
Then I'm going to come down to that kind of purpley one right there. And then with that one, I'm going to build in to the cut crease too. All. I mean, I'm not mad about this palette. I think it's got some really nice colors. It's definitely, even the lighter colors or the purpley pinkies are um, more in that muted color, but I think the overall effect is... All right, now I'm going to come up in here in my transition with this kind of goldish color. Okay, so I'm gonna come back to using this with the black shade in here to try to kind of get um, an eyeliner look. Now for underneath, I guess you could use this for underneath too if you I'm going to start off with that color there and then move over to this color here. I guess if you were concerned about fallout, it would be helpful. So, I mean, I think this helped with up here. I don't think it really was that helpful down there, but I guess if I was, like I said, if I was concerned about fallout, it might be more helpful. All right, I did get this. Patrick Ta Mascara, and uh, you know, I mean, I've only got like five open. Actually, I've got one I've got to throw out, so. There is the wand. I was using the Still Up Big Huge Extreme for a little while. Um, that's the one that is kind of getting to the point where it's gonna be thrown out. So anyway, this this Stilla is a nice mascara. I definitely think it does have a nice lengthening effect. Um, but I did notice that throughout the day, I would have like little lots of it up there. So, for whatever that's worth. Oh my goodness, this one here, I'm having a heck of a time with. Okay, so, there's the one I did. There's the one I didn't. This is a very messy mascara. Would I purchase this? No. I would not purchase it on a boxy sale for $2.99 and send it to one of you guys. It's it's a mess. It's just the bottom here 
carries a lot of the mascara, so if you're not like super duper careful, you just get it like everywhere. Okay, so um, I went ahead and just did my eyebrows using um, just a pencil, an Anastasia Beverly Hills pencil um, that I received in a previous, I think, Boxer Charm or Ipsy. That's this little guy here. Love this, highly recommend this. Um, and I just threw on some lip gloss, my Hank and Henry lip gloss. So, final thoughts. I think this is a really good palette. Um, as much as I was unexcited for it, I think it does do some nice neutral looks. And, I mean, whatever, I must have gotten my fingers in it because I don't recall seeing any fingerprints in it when I first opened it. So that's my guess is that my fingers were in it. So I didn't want to pass that on to anybody else. Um, the Dominique Cosmetics, I really like that. I am a fan of the cream blushes, though. So, um, you know, I'm always going to lean towards those. But I do like that it's peach and not pink. I like a pink, don't get me wrong, but... Um, Peaches do better with my rosacea, and I think a peach goes nice with a neutral look. The Sandbar Eye Primer, I don't know. Um, it didn't necessarily make the lid all one color. I did that with the palette. Um, I guess it maybe helped with it going on a little bit creamier, maybe. I, I really couldn't tell you. The Mascara big thumbs down Patrick Todd this is not this is not acceptable um it's just it's messy it's goopy it's messy I like the shape of the wand but there's not enough of the material next to the tip of it so the tip of it just is like got tons of product on there that then if you get just a little bit too close you're, it's gonna just I had to clean up my eyes like three or four times because there was so much on there. So, I'm um, not a fan of this, probably won't even use it again, but I'm glad I did find that out rather than passing it along to somebody and giving somebody else a bad product. Um, so, that's my final thoughts on um, some of the things I received from BoxyCharm because that's basically all I could get my hands on right now. I don't even know where I put stuff. So, um, we'll work harder next month to make sure everything stays in one container for BoxyCharm and one container for Ipsy to try to make sure that you get everything all together. All right, well, please consider hitting that like, subscribe, and notification bell. Leave a comment down below. Again, let me know if you like the format where I get the video out later, but tag on a review of some or all of the products at the end of the video, uh, making it a longer video, but you're seeing it all together, or making just two shorter videos, one where I open the box, get it out earlier in the month, and then another one where I'm doing a review of the products maybe later on in the month. All right, thanks so much, and hopefully I'll see you soon.